Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chan Ken. Today we're going to do yet another property review. It is Condominium Angkas Acacia at Bukit Jalil. So yes, this is Condominium Acacia. And one very interesting fact about this Condominium Acacia is that the developer for this is basically a wholly owned subsidiary of LTAT. And LTAT stands for Lembaga Tabong Angkatan Tentera, which is in English, the Armed Forces Board. Yeah, It's similar like EPF, in a way, is a provident fund, but for armed forces, yeah, the pension fund for armed forces. And recently, they were in the news, they declared a very healthy dividend of 5% for the year 2023. So going back to this development, Acacia, Bukit Jalil, you actually have two blocks. This is one block. Yeah, although it might look like two, no, it's actually one block. And the other block is there. <coughs> So it's very, very unique project. Very, very big piece of land. And I think that's one of the key selling points of this project. It's very affordable and it sits on a huge piece of land. So the facilities, the spacing, the landscaping, everything in between is very, very huge, very, very generous. Okay? Uh, these two blocks, it's 19 stories uh, and it's a total of 580 units. Yeah? Spread across these two blocks. So 290 units per block. And there are two layouts. So the smaller layout is 1,140 square feet. That's the unit that you're going to review. And the larger one is 1,200 square feet. Okay, so without further ado, let's move in. Let's go. So we are within the compound of Akasya Bukit Jalil. Towards my back is the guard house. That's the boom gate. So like what I was saying, very, very big piece of land. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a walk to the condo. This is block A and this is block B. Okay, let me stand this side. For the entrance, okay, let me just comment a bit. Uh, I think the that's the not the most ideal one. You got one in, one out. And hence when I came in just now, the SOP is that they open the gate and then ask me to drive in front a little bit and then register at the guard house. And it's only a single lane in and out. So it could lead to traffic congestion. But that, besides that, I feel, yeah, I just am astonished by the amount of space that they have here. Very, very generous. These are all the facilities. So the facilities is centered in the middle. There's no facilities uh, within the blocks. It's purely residential units. First floor, all the way up to until the 19th floor. All are residence units. The car park block, you have a connecting car park block, dedicated standalone block for the car park, just opposite. So there are two car park blocks. Uh, this is for A and then B would have its own block. See, as I walk further away, right, you can see how far it is. So the amount of uh, land and there are only 580 units so if you really want to talk about the density right i think this is really low density. i don't have the data for the land size but at a glance i would say this is easily oh six seven acres maybe even eight eight acres pushing eight to nine acres of land I'm not surprised if it touches 10 acres actually. And that works out to be anything between, it's certainly less than 100 units per acre. That I'm sure. Yeah. Could be as low as 50, or the max will be 100. Look at all this land. Yeah. Very, very generous. So that is the rumour that we will compare against. That is the benchmark because as far as the selling price per square feet is actually the same. Yeah, that is the rumour whip. So this is the car park building. There is no lift lobby. So it's a very humble, uh, simple drop-off. Uh, right in front here. 
and your mailbox is to my right behind this so you basically drop off here uh, there's a flight of stairs going up this ground floor and a few flight of stairs first floor so you have a total of three lifts including the lift bomba let's head up stepping up the lift we are close to the top on the 18th floor so if you notice right the shape of this is not a straight line it's somewhat of a crooked so you have one walkway here and the other walkway is there so it's not really a, a straight line per se total of three lifts serving a total of 16 units okay before i head to the unit uh, let's take a quick look at the refuse room this is a very normal refuse room and for this development all the trunking is exposed at the top there you can see all white one is the easiest to identify this is basically the water you know, from the meter water meter room this is the water pipes the green one orange is basically for your electricity yeah. this is for your electricity and then you got under two i'm not sure you can see it's a green and a white the green is for the fiber internet and the white is for the tv point so if you look at the brochure right they mentioned that there's no fiber point in the unit no there is actually uh, and you can easily identify by this uh, green trunking walkway is healthy you have seven feet yeah seven feet so it's quite wide i would say it's quite decent and there's a decent fair bit of openings to my left and right yeah. so it's quite bright i would say even for the lower units uh, it will be bright As a matter of fact, all of it actually are somewhat open. You do not have an internal airwell that is totally blocked. All this, oh, oh no, sorry, here is blocked. Yeah, here you have units left and right, but it's big again. The, the spacing between from your walkway to your wall is quite big. Yeah. Again, one of the benefits of getting to the units to the top right is that it's always very bright, the walkway. This is the unit that we are going to review. It's a type 2, 1,140 square feet, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Defect activation in progress, so uh, someone ignore that, all the stickers. It's big, this area, the landing area, but shoe cabinet, hmm, it will somewhat eat into your doorway, the path. Double lift door, very nice, and it's not flush if you notice. So this obviously would be more expensive than a normal flush door. Flush door is those door which is flat, simple. Then you call it a flush door. This one has a, you know, this design, these bezels, right? So this is much more expensive. And this is a double lift door. Yeah, one, and then of course this is a small section. So if to do a shoe cabinet, uh, maybe this side would make much more sense. Yeah. Because you have this block anyway on a daily basis, you're only going to open this door. So maybe on this side here, you can have your shoe cabinet. Very interesting for them to have the double lift door. Okay, stepping in. So this unit is big, 1140. And for the kitchen tiles, they give you all the way to the top and you will notice also it's quite high up. Uh, okay, it's a bit noisy, I hope. Ah. I'm going to try to close the window. No, it's still noisy. Okay, I'll try my best. Uh, 10 feet tiles all the way to the top. The DB box is here and also your telecommunications communication box. Single phase.
and this is the fiber communication point. Yeah. And you got this also, data points, two data points. So one would likely lead to the living room and another in your room. So usually in this instance, right, this type of setup, right, you can put the, uh, the model will be here and the router will be at there, the living room or in the bedroom. Yeah. And since you have data points, I strongly recommend you to get a mesh for good whole home Wi-Fi coverage. Or you can get Max Wi-Fi by Maxperts from Maxis, only 29 ringgit a month to ensure whole home Wi-Fi coverage. Quite big, the, the box, uh, this kitchen, I would say. And they clearly demarcate it with this house. Tiles, um, though, is a uh, one by one, so it's not a nicer two by two tiles. And these are uh, ceramic tiles, it's not a uh, porcelain, which is uh, a great higher. The yard, ventilation blocks, always love ventilation blocks. So, this is basically pre cast concrete. And the main benefits of this is uh, ventilation, as per the name. Yeah, and you get some, some sort of privacy, although not full privacy. So if you really want full privacy, then you need to add another layer of mesh wiring. Yeah. So top there, uh, this is where they expect you to place your outdoor aircon compressor. Washing machine. Since this is here, right, and you can't put your aircon compressor outside, you have to be here. So there's no real point extending the kitchen per se. Anyway, in my personal opinion, this really is big enough. Uh, this side of the kitchen. You can do double-sided again here, 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 basically a U-shape. And even extend, or even have this side extended also. Yeah, this side. An island bar counter height. So it's uh, not necessary to extend beyond this door, in my opinion. Dining. Aircon, the power point is provided, but there's no piping, so you need to pull your own piping. Yes, this is a TV point, and also the data point. No balcony. Is that an issue? Personally, I don't think so. Oh, nice. And these windows also are rather large. The, I noticed this is a good three feet the, a window panel. It's very big. Look at that. Look at the houses. Huge bungalows and semi -dees. Okay, let's talk a bit about the view. Ah, yes, there, Pavilion Bukit Channel. Yeah, so we are quite close to Pavilion Bukit Channel. And the LRT, let me see if I can see the LRT. LRT uh, Alam Dharma is just behind this. So it's also not too far away. If you take this road, right, this is the main road. The guard house is there. You come out, oh, you can't see the guard house. Come out from here, you turn there, you follow down. It's approximately a kilometer away. Which is decent in my opinion, a kilometer. Nice. I wonder why is this not flush? That's a very weird design, unless they were designing it for the balcony. Yeah, only on this side here. Hmm. Fan hook. Two fan hooks, living and dining. Worth again to note that it's actually 10 feet high. So a direct comparison for this type of pro projects, right, this type of developments is 
uh, number one, of course, Ruma Whip or PPAM projects. So Ruma Whip projects, it goes for the one just beside us, that goes for 300,900 square feet. But if you work out the per square feet rate, right, it's actually the same as this 333 ringgit point three three cents per square feet. So as a rate, right, this selling price is the same as a rumor whip project. And if you talk about the finishings, I would say this is overall for the unit, it looks like it's a step better. Tiles are the same, but height you get a higher ceiling. Yeah, so bigger. And then items in general, so like this for instance, the window panels. Same window panel as the one that you got with three feet, very big. The issue with the rumor bit beside, you know, one of the, the main cons is that the yard has no privacy. You basically put your hand out, straight away it goes into the walkway. Same for this window also, the small room. This one has that big, I mean, it's not possible to climb in. <laughs> you can open as wide as you want to add a room at night. You can't do that for the room out with the side. But this is good for a single bed. This room much, much bigger. This is big for this single, uh, this middle room. This is as good as the master bedroom for the room out with the side in terms of size. Uh, ignore the tiles and again that's because they did the rectification different batch of tiles so this is the challenge with always getting a rectification work right when although it's the same color code but because it's manufactured a different batch hence the color varies this is the issue for ceramic tiles for porcelain tiles it's easier to get a closer match three window panels very big Okay, it's not flush, it's not, uh, not the same, uh, here slightly sunk it inside, but nevertheless it's still very big for this room. No fan hook and also no aircon power point. Of course there's no aircon piping also. And hence that's why you actually have this but here right all the way to the top because they don't need to lower down they need to do the plastic ceiling because there's no piping going through but if you were to do aircon piping you have to go through here so you might just do plaster ceiling for this deep and even for the room otherwise it will be exposed hmm. bathroom common bathroom also they give a mirror that's nice all the way to the top there is no water heater though for this so again if you want water heater you have to pull by yourself the point lowered windows for this not a casement window casement basically refers to a window where the, it swings out you know the hinges is on the left or right this is a lowered window and the master bedroom data point is there data point is okay okay maybe you can because your bed is here i believe hmm. it's a bit it's a bit of a waste uh, it would be better if they can give slightly bigger windows four window panels no power point also for this oh no, there is icon power point is there and yeah, there's no icon piping for this Bathroom, the master bathroom, uh, 
So they do provide water heater, water pro heaters provided the boiler type above. So that's also quite commendable. Econex. E C O M A X. Same goes for the water closet. Hot and cool. Just the very typical of a boiler where you have hot sauce and water sauce so you can open both the mix. Okay, that sums up the review of this unit. So my initial thoughts are, I think it's a very value for money. Uh, because again, you've talked strictly about the price point, right? This is the same price as a Rumah Whip project. You know, you compare the one just beside that I reviewed, uh, Aman Jalil. That goes for same price per square feet, 333 per square feet. But in terms of finishing, I would say this, the layout is certainly better. Yeah, you got a better door, uh, double lift door, your tiles go all the way to the top, it's 10 feet, you get a proper layout for your yard and also your bedroom, unlike the Ruma whip ones. So unit-wise, this would certainly be, be better. Yeah? Very value for money if you ask me. This unit is not for sale, not for rent. Uh, this is this review is a courtesy of an owner. A uh, big shout out to the owner for allowing me to review. And now that we're finished reviewing the unit, let's head down and check out the facilities. Let's go. Stepping off the lift lobby, we are back down on ground floor or first floor rather. So this is actually the first floor, and you have units on your first floor also. And ground, if you may like, just a few steps down here. So in a way, uh, you have units on your first floor, it's all in a way uh, raised, yeah, not same with ground floor. So the facilities are all in the center there, centered. This is the car park building that I was mentioning earlier. So one interesting thing about this car park building, right, is that the allocation done for car park, each unit has two car parks but it's not side by side because all the prices are the same uh, for the same layout the one that we visited are uh, 100,000 140 square feet 340,000 if I recall correctly two car parks so given that you're paying the same where would you get your car park lower floor higher floor so to make it fair what the developer did when they did the balloting is that they basically provide two if you get the lowest you get the highest basically one against five and then you know two against four and then if it's three yes you can get some you know maybe on the same floor so in a way it's balanced uh, you will not have like two car parks at the top yeah or two car parks at the bottom you will always have one high one low one high one low or in the medium or in the middle rather this is a car park building there's also a connecting uh bridge this is from the second floor so second floor you can actually walk down if it's uh, raining you can actually take this path to your car park okay one thing to note about the car park though i don't see a lift so it stairs all the way up to the highest floor i i could be wrong but i somehow did not see a lift we were some i check out the middle there uh, even this part here there's no lifts it seems So that's the facility. So very, very big plot of land. Again, going back to what I was saying earlier, right? This plan of plot of land is huge. So if you talk about the pure definition of density, units per size or land area, this is low dense. It's so big, the land. You got even land behind a little bit, you know, all around the perimeters. And this place, like this is the refuse room, which is only for this block. So there are two of this. One here, this wrong some part and the other one on the other side for the other block that is the other block see how far the, how far away it is the other block that's block b it's a playground yeah. you got okay not really playground per se uh more power cost equipment it seems yeah 
some benches here, uh, here and there. There is a playground. Don't worry, the playground's behind this. Yeah. So I think the main selling point to me is really uh, value for money. With this amount of money, right? This is the amount of money that you will pay for a Rumah Whip or PPAM. This, in my opinion, is a great higher than PPAM and Rumah Whip. So you can see the amount of space. All this, this is like a mini clubhouse. So generous with the space. This is a Tasca. And the Tasca also, I can't enter, but it's very well planned. So what I like about it is there's already a room. There's a pantry room. This is the door for the pantry. This is the uh, uh, classroom one, bilet dajah dua, bilet dajah satu, you know. So they clearly split it and then the toilet behind. In both condos, right, the Tasca is just one big space. No partition, no doors, no rooms. This one, they split nicely already. Tempat wudu, this is a toilet. Uh, there's another toilet. This is not the main toilet. And this village as well. Uh, but again, this is more of uh, the own initiative of the developer or resident. This is very nice. Yeah, carpeted. Look at that. Nice, yeah. <laughs> this is the playground so there's a lot of space to run around we talk about kids right this is the wrong playing and this is the playground look at that so much space for the same price fully sold out already this project and why not, right? Given the price. So if you want to get it's a sub sale unit. But still, depending on the price, I would say it could be very, very worth it. This is the Rumah Whip. So again, same price per square feet, just beside here. This one, not so nice. I would say the exterior facade compared to that. Yeah, the colour somehow, this looks much more exclusive. But as far as layout is concerned, this wins hands down. Facilities-wise, I'm reviewing. Uh, I do not have a... I've not made up my mind yet, conclusion. But pros and cons. That one has a gym. This doesn't have a gym. But this one, again, the space, they have this, because they got so much space, right? They got a futsal court, which is again a very, uh, very nice facility. Yeah. And it's not concrete, ladies and gentlemen. But this nice plastic, surface so it's not so rough when you drop and you also have flashlights so you can play at night this is what you do when you have so much space yeah. and we're not done yet with the facilities there the other side you got the swimming pool which is very impressive looks like a clubhouse swimming pool look at the amount of space this reminds me of certain or uh, the older HDBs in Singapore where there's so much ample of space. Oh. Look at this, all this space here. <laughs> this is a swimming pool. Look at that, isn't it nice? And the fence around. So this is a... Uh, the management office is here and you got a Dewan Sabaguna. Yeah. BBQ Pit. The only facility missing compared to that Rumah Whip beside, which again is one of the better Rumah Whips because it has a gym. Many Rumah Whips don't have a gym also or they don't have a gym and swimming pool. It's usually either one. This is a BBQ Pit. Yeah. So this, I don't see a gym. That's the only thing. Unless, unless I missed out. Yeah. It's the day one. Can't see through. It's quite, quite okay. Hmm. It's the management office. More toilets. This toilet's bigger. But yes, yeah, just a toilet. 
and this is the other block. So again, your car park, this is our rubbish room, and then this is your top B. That's the guard house. So yes, that sums up the review of this particular property. Congratulations to those who have bought uh, first hand. I think it's real, uh, a steal at this price compared to a rumor whip or a PPAM project. Yeah. This unit is not for sale, not for rent. It's an owner unit. So again, a big shout out to the owner. You know who you are. Let me know what you think about this property. Again, same price as a rumor whip as far as price per square feet is concerned. But it's much bigger, better layout, facilities also. You're only missing a gym. That's about it. Other than a gym, I think everything is top-notch. It's close to a condominium facility. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please do smash the like button. Feel free to share with your friends and families. And if not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, do support the channel. Help me grow this channel. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye!